don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, let's go. Hello friends. So we want to know what is ControlNet and how it works, how to install it, to use models with some examples. Not a problem. So let's go. Now that we have Stable Diffusion and Loras installed, you will learn in this video everything you need to know about ControlNet. Let's start with the installation. For this, let's go to the ControlNet GitHub. I put the link in the description. All you have to do is to go in the right here. Click code and hit the button to copy the link. Then return to Stable Diffusion in Extension tab and then install from URL. Pass the link you copied in the first case and hit install. Once it's done, go to installed here and hit apply and restart UI. Now that Stable Diffusion is restarted, you find down the frame with ControlNet. You have to enable it to activate it. Here, you have all processors, Canny, Depth, Normal Math, Open Pose, MLDS, Line Art, Soft Edge, and others. You can run the processor, but we still need the models. It's a pure here SD15 for Canny. So simple, all we have to do is download them from Hugging Face page. The link is in the description. There you find all models. Here is Kenny model and the YAML file also. You find line art and in paint, open pose and YAML open pose, scribble, segment soft edge and others. Once downloaded, you will have to drag and drop them in the control net folder models in this path as it appears below. I already have put all the files in the models folder. It's now time to return to Stable Diffusion for some training. We need an image. I take a dancing women. Now let enable C on Trollnet by clicking enable. Then we drag and drop the image in the single image section and hit open pose processor type. The model is automatically selected. Clicking run button will generate the keying. Let's check Pixel Perfect and a low preview to see what we are talking about and run the process. And boom! Key points are extracted from the input image using Open Pose and saved as a control map containing the positions of key points. Let's then fed the stable diffusion as an extra conditioning together with a text prompt. Just a simple one. Let's generate. Let's see what we have. The face is not good. To manage this, we can use a detailer. Let's enable it and generate again. The above example generated a woman position with the left foot pointing sideways, a little different from the original image. The reason is that open pose keep point detection does not specify the orientations of the feet. What's the difference between using canny edge detection and open pose? The canny edge detector extracts the edges of the subject and background alike. It tends to translate the scene more faithfully. You can see the dancing woman, but the outline and hairstyle are preserved. Let's generate to see the difference. The scene more faithfully translated, and it's the same color. Let's fix this by changing the prompt and adding a negative one for the leg orientation. And boom! The prompt is respected, but I don't like the knee orientation. For that, let's try the easy negative inversion and generate. So, it's looked pretty good and more better. Now, and as you can see, you still have other model and I suggest you to test them one by one. So to sum up, the first step of using ControlNet is to choose a preprocessor. It is helpful to turn on the preview so that you know what the preprocessor is doing. Once the preprocessing is done, the original image is discarded, and only the preprocessed image will be used for ControlNet. Like always, 
I share with you a tip. Controlling poses with magic pose. Sometimes you may be unable to find an image with the exact pose you want. You can create your custom pose using tools like Magic Poser. I hope you enjoy the video. So keep in touch and see you soon.